Hi, this is Ali from Ali's Inky Fingers. You used to see me with um, paper craft. Today I'm going to show you something with paper clay. And it's something that I've done out of uh, florist paste, but I've never done it with uh, this kind of paste. But it does work absolutely beautiful. This is a bouquet I've made, and over the next few videos I'm going to show you how to make all these flowers and how to wire them together. We're going to start today with the rose. So I'll just move that out of the way and show you how we do it. The paste I use is the Artista paste. It is fantastic to work with and it's really soft and light. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to show you how to make a bud. But to make a bud you do have to leave it overnight to dry so that you can then carry on to make the rose. So what I'm going to do is take some of this wire and I'm just going to form a little hook on there. If you can see that, it's just a tiny little hook on the end. I'm going to take a ball of paste and just roll it in my hand to make a ball. Put that straight through, put the hook inside and then curl. Roll the, thing, the ends together with your thumb and finger to make a point. Then you would leave that for about 24 hours or overnight to dry. I have got some that I've done earlier. So this is what we're going to work on. So we're going to use these cutters. And basically you're going to put the board inside and that's a little too big for that one. So we're going to go with a smaller size. Which I think this one will be perfect for that. So what we're going to do is roll it out. I do keep it wrapped in cling film to stop it from drying out. I just roll it out quite thinly and then we're going to cut about five of these. And what I'm going to do is take the remainder of the clay, roll it up and we're going to put that in there just to keep it nice and fresh. So we're going to take one of the petals, pop it into your hand and just gently on the ends just thin those a little bit. We don't need to use any glue. Pop the cone level with the top, not the pointed part. The pointed part goes to the bottom so it's the curved part at the top. I'm going to roll that in so you like tucking the baby in and roll the other side in and then tuck the ends underneath and that's the first one of your rows. We're going to take another one and do exactly the same. Cup the ends, just thin that out a bit and then put a soft bit into the centre and we're going to put this exactly the same, level with the top, curl one end in and just leave that other end there so what we're going to do is curl those other petals and place those inside. This is going to make a rose bud. In the next video I'll show you how to carry on to turn it into a half rose, we'll say, not a full rose, because full rose is quite open. So pop that onto the first petal and just roll that in and leave another little bit there. Do exactly the same again. Gently curl the petals. If your hands are hot, you may find it starts sticking. And in that case, you could use a little bit of um, the powder from the anti-static pad. Just curl that in, put it onto the end, curl that round and leave that end again. With the last one, do exactly the same on the petal ends. Just gently soften those, thin those. Put that against the next petal and again just curl it round. Now tuck all those into the base. If you've got any excess you can take it off and just gently ease those petals out as if it's opening up and that is your little rosebud. So leave that to dry and then I'll show you the calyx. The calyx is what is on the base of the flower and basically it finishes it off. I can't show you colouring it today because you need to leave it to dry. But to colour it I use the pan pastels. 
and I find it's a fantastic way of using them. I've got some paste here coloured with the pastels, just with the green. And again, I'm going to roll it out onto my board. This doesn't have to be quite as thin. This is the calyx cutter, or you can make this into a poinsettia, which I'll show you at a later stage. As we're not too near Christmas at this point, I'll not worry too much about that. Take this off. The cutters, by the way, are all available on my website. Pop that into the centre of the calyx and push it down. You are better off leaving your bud to dry before you do this, but let's just pretend I've done that. Cup that around your flower and that gives it a nice finish. So I'm going to just show you how we finish that off and then it will be left for colouring. Take a little bit more green paste, roll it into a ball and we're going to put that on the wire, push it up to the top and that finishes off your little rosebud. So I'm going to show you now how to do a leaf and then we'll leave it for today and we'll do the colouring at a later date. So that's your rosebud. The leaf, we're going to use the green again and we're going to just roll it into a bit of a sausage, pop it onto your board, roll from the centre out and then from the centre towards yourself, leaving a little ridge down the middle. Keep lifting it up so you know it's not going to stick and take your leaf cutter. Place that so the straight end is where the vein is and press down. Take that off. Now we're going to get a wire and hold it between your thumb and finger and insert the wire and you can feel it going up but you must make sure that it doesn't break through the surface so that is actually inside there. Then we've got these wonderful little things called a vena. Now this has got a little um, groove there, basically that's where you place your wire and then you're going to put it as a sandwich and gently, because this paste is very delicate, press down on that, open it up and that gives your leaf the nice little veins. We're just going to nip the bottom together and nip the top together, bend it over, that is your rose leaf before it's been coloured. So I'm going to finish off there and then in the next instalment we're going to do the colouring of this and how to wire them together and then we'll go on to one of the different flowers. So, see you later. Thank you.